Hello, Roger. Hi, Sarah. Let's continue our conversation about the canon of Scripture. Why do you accept the Protestant Old Testament? Because many of the Church Fathers included its exact books in their canonical lists. But these same Church Fathers also believed in baptismal regeneration, the sacrifice of the Mass, veneration of the Saints, and Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. Why do you think they are trustworthy on the canon but not on other doctrines? Well, I don't trust them blindly. You have to test everything, as the scriptures say, so I test the beliefs of the fathers against the Bible. But you are relying on their historical testimony in order to know what books are in the Bible, which means you are reasoning in a circle. No, I do not rely on them alone. I believe God made it possible for us to have the correct canon of scripture so I rely on God's grace to know the canon, through faith. But you don't have faith in the fathers, or in the early church, which you think made serious errors in her doctrines. Yet the canon was discerned by the early church under the influence of the fathers. I have faith in God, not in men. The canon was obvious from history. The Old Testament was the same one the Jews used. You said many church fathers listed the Protestant canon, but when I looked, few or none of them did. What gives? Well, I should be clear that they all listed the exact Protestant Old Testament, except for the fact that they all made slight errors. So, several included Baruch and other non-inspired writings, which they should not have done. And others excluded Esther, another mistake. One excluded the minor prophets, but that was clearly an oversight. If you ignore all those errors, they listed the Protestant canon exactly. So, even though their list did not match the Protestant Old Testament, I should pretend that they did? Yes. It is easy to see where they made mistakes and then mentally correct them. We know more today than they did back then. So just use their lists. Apply mental corrections to change their list to match the Protestant canon, and you will then see that their lists are perfect matches. Is you claim then that you have conscience binding certainty in your canon because the Church Fathers made lists that got close to matching the books in your Bible today? No, I have certainty because God has shown me that the books of the Protestant canon are true. Have you read the seven books Catholics include in their Bibles? I have read enough of them, enough to know that they are false man-made writings that fail my canon criteria. Does chapter 2 of the Book of Wisdom fail your criteria, also? It is the passage that prophecies Jesus' passion, whose words are used almost verbatim in Matthew's Gospel. A blind squirrel finds an acorn every now and then. And a large team of monkeys anging away at typewriters would eventually create the works of Shakespeare. That is what happened with that prophecy. That is the craziest theory I have ever heard. Nonetheless it is true. I hope you will now realize that my Bible is the true one and yours is false, having added extra books. You have failed to provide reasonable answers to my questions. You pilfer from the Catholic Church's tradition and borrow from the Fathers where it suits you, but when I called you out on it, you hid behind the claim that you trust only in God for your canon. My belief that God has guided the Catholic Church into all truth stands. If anything, it has only been strengthened. God bless and I hope you continue praying and studying these matters. I will do so. But I already know that my canon is true. I hope you will get the Holy Spirit so that you will know, too. God bless.